I'm here in my uh, practice room and uh, I had this idea. I thought I'd share with you what I uh, do to practice and what practicing is about, at least for me anyway. And um, so let's give it a try. I have my iPhone here with a little software program that I love. My instructor doesn't think it's so great, but I like it for tuning. I'm kind of a gadget girl, so this suits me perfectly. It's called Clear Tune, and uh, it does have settings for the violin, and I get it set up. And let's see if we're in tune. Practicing from a couple of books. One, the first book, All for Strings, and uh, I go in between that and the second book, book two, also for All for Strings. These are good books, great lessons, great progressions. Um, I just wish they had a play along DVD with it because I play so much by ear, even though I'm learning how to read music. Uh, a companion DVD would be great. Included in the books are a number of songs, everything from Jingle Bells, which you've heard before, and She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, Can Can, Ode to Joy, uh, a lot of folk songs, some I've never heard, some are several hundred years old, and that's pretty cool to play some very old songs. So I'll go through and continue warming up with a song that I like playing. For example, this is There's Music in the Air. Sometimes I'll play it with a lot of passion, a lot of emotion, you know, at this stage you kind of want to feel like you're really doing it, even though it's just the same old song over and over again. But uh, And then sometimes I really do try to play it with the rhythms that were intended. So I'll continue on with uh, maybe playing it another ten times until I get it right and more and more in key. An example of one of the exercises that I work on. Um, is this technique trainer and when you're learning how to play the violin it's really really difficult to hit the notes unlike a guitar there are no frets so as you can see there's no markers on the board here to show you where G is or E or A so you pretty much have to train your fingers to hit the note train your ear to know what the notes supposed to sound like too so this particular trainer teaches you to keep a guide finger down. Um, so for example, in this case, the first finger on the D string on the A note. And you keep that down as you move up the string and then uh, and across the string. So it gives you a little bit of a guide. You're, you're keeping the finger down as a bit of a guide to train uh, how far apart to keep the fingers so that you hit the notes also. Anyway, so for example, this trainer sounds like this. So that brings us to where I am today in the book. And that's actually learning how to use my fourth finger, the pinky finger. And uh, it's very, very hard to do. I mean, how often do we use this finger anyway for 
strength and flexibility. So, uh, so far in the lessons, the, 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 all of them have been pretty much about the first three fingers. So now it's time to bring the pinky into it. And this song, Little Brown Jug, is one of those songs that gets you exercising that. So they're definitely finger gymnastics. So we're, we're working with the first three fingers on this. We're stretching from the um, E on the D string all the way up to the A on the D string. So that's quite a stretch for these old fingers. It's kind of tough. And then they'll have you go from that E and then the first finger is going to go over onto the, um, eh, what string is that? A string with the B placement there, and then you're still stretching forward. So it's really tricky. I'll show you what it, you know, what it sounds like. It's pretty bad, but um, some of the things that you have to go through. Who knew? I might not have started playing the violin if I knew it was really going to be this hard. <laughs> but I'm trying. Yeah, not so great, but uh, if you had seen me do this in the beginning, it was just impossible. But my fingers are getting used to it, and with practice, it's coming along just like anything you do that's new. So that's a general idea of what my practice sessions are like.